Hello, welcome to another video. So I'm a bit unwell, so I haven't kept up to date with the latest releases of Manjaro as I would have liked. But I'm going to muster up the energy to do a quick run through of the Cinnamon edition, of the Community edition, sorry. So they've actually got an update 19.0 for the Community editions of Cinnamon and i3. So I hope to take a look at i3 as well at some point. But we're going to... Oh, no, we have already installed, so we're going to restart now. And I've got a new drive that I'm wanting to test as well, one of them Sabrent rocket things. So I'm going to see how well that deals with it as well and what sort of speeds we can get. So that's going to be the first time I've done an actual disk speed test of that, I think. So that's going to be interesting as well. So we're going to restart. Let's see how quickly it starts up from a, a fresh install. Take the USB out. Um, yeah, it didn't want to load Sabrent at first. It kept saying no partition was found, so I had to mess around a bit in the um, in my BIOS to get it to actually recognise it. But that's all good. A little bit of googling didn't hurt. Okay, it's, it's extended the display. So just give me a moment to mirror the display. So what we're going to do is go to mirror. I'll move it to that screen so you can see what's going on. There we go. So we just want to go to mirror and then click apply. Perfect. Right. So I'm not. I've never used the Manjaro Community Edition of Cinnamon, so I'm not sure what to expect. I doubt that there's any information that pertains to it in the release info of Hello. We'll have a look, but I wouldn't have thought so. So we're going to use grouped windows list it doesn't matter because I am going to remove that we're going to set this up for my general workflow because I want to see how this actually would go I quite like the look of it so far I had a little look around while I was installing it so let's go to keep this configuration right so first off let's go into the release info and just double check that there is nothing about it in here no okay that's all good right what we're going to do we're going to ignore the newer kernel for now is we're going to move our panel to the top so we're going to go to move and we're just going to click up there and that's a rather large panel actually we're going to make it a bit smaller 40 yeah who has their panels this big i'm going to go for 28 obviously if you you know for accessibility options fair enough but that's just massive for me okay i think that's that right let's see what we've got on here so we've got our user login logout system settings and power off we have a clock Clicking that will expose the calendar. We have power management and notifications, battery indicator, sound, Wi Fi connection, uh, clipboard. We have the PAMAC update manager there. Let's quickly see if there's any updates to grab. Let's go to updates. Yes, there is, but that's just the mirrors there. So we'll click up apply and then we'll type in our password. Okay. So then next to that we have, that was the kernel thingy, we have open windows there pertaining to which workspace they're on. And then we have our workspace switcher here, which has a nice smooth animation to the left and the right with a sound effect too. Let's close that now. So if we keep going, we have a couple of quick launches here, in which I'm going to remove all of them. And this one too. And then we have a show desktop button and expo to show your workspaces with the windows spread okay what i want to do now is go into panel edit mode i think this is how you do it on cinnamon i'm not a massive cinnamon aficionado here we go remove grouped windows list and then we're going to go to yes and then we're going to grab clank so this is my usual sort of workflow i'll either have a dock to the bottom of the left so pseudo plank i think that's all we want for the moment Yes. Okay. So now we're going to. Oh, I wanted Albert as well. One second. So we're also going to grab Albert. And now we'll have a look at what applications it comes installed with out of the box. Right, let's get out of panel edit mode. And does it have Windows snapping? It does. Does it have four way? It does indeed. Very nice. Okay. So now we're going to go through the application. So in accessories, we have archive manager, Belena etcher, gnome disks, document viewer, calculator, GPR rename, GTK hash. You have the Covantum theme in manager, Manjaro application utility, Manjaro user guide, Nemo is your file manager, and it is using a version 
4.4.2. Let's keep it going. It's um, it's got natural scrolling. I will have to remove that. I like it to go down as down. I don't know if that's natural or not. Sorry. Um, in sorry, in education we have LibreOffice Math. In graphics you've got G Color 2, GNU GIMP, perfect. Well, GNU Image Program, LibreOffice Draw and Pix. In internet you have the SSH and VNC server browsers. Deluge, Firefox is your web browser. It has hex chat for IRC. Pigeon is your multi protocol chat service application. Thunderbird is your email application. Full LibreOffice Suite. We did choose that in the installation though, so you could have in the install process, so you could also install free office as well. Um, Microsoft Office Online, is this a web wrapper? Ah, cool. I might have, and it gives you an icon up here. Huh. Interesting. I might have to look at that. I think it looks like just fairly standard web wrapper though, but it's nice to have it there for you if you use Office 365. I do. Let's keep going. So that was in Office. In other, you have Cinnamon Panel Chooser and HP UI Scan. In programming, you have Icon Browser. In sound and video, you have Media Player. I'm not sure which Media Player that is. Let's go to Help and About. That's X Player 2.2.5. Let's keep going. Um, you have Praga. I've not used this either, actually. Some Music Player. Two panels there. Folder structure. Now playing. Nice and clean, that. Not too bad looking. Let's keep going. So that was in sound and video. So you also have Pulse Audio Volume Control and QTV4 L2 Test and Video Capture Utilities. You have your Add and Remove Software, Applications Manager. Let's open that one and have a look at that. All right, let's keep going while that's loading. You have a Zero Conf Browser, Deconf Editor, Disk Usage Analyzer, GPIED, Hardware Loop, HTOP's already installed, perfect. Time Shift and Terminal. Okay, what's this here? Just sort of a featured application sort of thing. Yeah, not too bad. Right, now what we need to do is just set it up for our general workflow. So we're going to have to open up Firefox to just grab some themes. You know, I like the old themes. So let's have a look at what themes it has by default. So by default, we are using Mint Y Dark Teal for your Windows border, Papyrus Adapter Noctomaya. That's a bit of a mouthful. We have Mint Y Dark Teal. And mint my dark teal on the desktop as well. So what we're going to do? Oh, they have a add and remove here. Let's have a look at what you can install through this part. Just going to grab some plank themes while it does that. Why have I written Ubuntu there? I don't know. Oh, so you can install some themes through here actually. So I have Arc here. No. Alright, we'll, we'll install themes the normal way. So what I'm gonna do is make dir dot themes dot icons. So that's our theming folder. Ah, they already exist. So let's go into Nemo. Ah, so they do, but they are empty. Is the themes empty? Okay. We will download some themes very quickly then. So let's go into download Ken Harley's themes and we'll save that. And then what I want to do is also get arc darkest theme and arc icons. So let's grab this one. And the download. Download. And then we're just going to do an open with this one. Right, let's extract that to the folder that it was already created. Let's go to Control H, dot themes, extract, close. And then we'll do the same for arc icons. Download. Download. Open with. Right, that's going to download that. This one will take a little bit longer to extract because there's more files. I'm going to go to dot icons, and for the most part, that's our theming apart from our plank themes. So now we're going to open plank, and then we're going to extract plank theming. So let's open this one, and then I just want shade, and then I'm going to extract that to dot local share plank themes. There we go. Let's that one there. 
Let's go to preferences, chuck that on to shade, and let's go for let's go for some left. We we'll go to the left. I usually have it on the left or the bottom, and then we're going to make that a bit smaller. Perfect. So now that's where all of our applications will minimise to and from, because as I say, we've removed the um, grouped task buttons up here. Right now we can set our themes in. It's not looking feel on cinnamon. It's themes. Um, so what we're going to do is go to Windows Border, Arc Darkest, and then for icons we're going to go to Arc. And that's generally how most of my distributions look once I've set them up. That's just the standard. That's how I like it. Okay. <clears throat> so I think that's that for the most part. What we're going to do now is go into Startup Applications, and we are going to add. Plank and Albert. We need to set up Albert as well though, we haven't done that yet. So let's do that. And then we'll also do the same for Albert. There we go. Um, I'm going to need to go into the Windows Manager or is it Windows. I need to change a keyboard shortcut. No, so it's in Keyboard Shortcuts. So what I want to do is go into Windows now and what has the key binding to alt and space i know something does alt f10 alt space there we go so i want to change that to control space because i use alt space for albert all right let's open up albert now no telemetry okay and then we're going to go to alt space and we're going to go to theme oh i like that menu that pop-up window that's nice Transparent, very nice. Right, let's go to Arc Dark Grey, and then we're going to go to Clear on Hide. We don't want a shadow, and we want it to hide on Close. Um, we don't need to do the auto start and login because we did it. We won't touch it though, but we already set that. Applications, files, and then go into files. Plugins not loaded. There we go, and then make sure it gets everything that you might want. And then we'll have Firefox bookmarks as well, and we'll also have Terminal and system that'll be okay for the moment so let's see how that looks perfect okay let's just see what versions of everything this version ships with so let's have a look at nemo so nemo ships with version 4.4.2 the LibreOffice version i'm going to assume is 3.4 something because we had a look at the um, known one and it would have been the same so let's go to help and about so this is version 6.3.4.2.0. So let's have a look at HTOP and see how it's handling all of that. So CPU utilization is very nice and low, and we've got about 1.74 gig memory usage. Now what we're going to do is do a nice re reboot, and then we're going to get a fresh RAM reading, and then we're going to benchmark this new disk that I've got, because I'm quite interested in seeing how quick it actually is. I've read a few reviews about it, but I haven't seen it for myself, so we shall soon see. It's not starting up especially fast like I thought it might. Don't know if that's the new disc or to or cinnamon manjaro to blame though. God, this is taking a while. Okay. Uh, we've got launch at start as well. Let's close that. So RAM usage, yeah, it's a respectable low number. So 769 megabytes. CPU utilization just spiked, but it's gone back down now. So we're at about zero to about five at the moment. That's all good. And that's all starting up like it should. Okay. What we also want to do is on. What am I doing? We want to grab some extensions now because I like to have a bit of a transparent panel. So let's go to download and we're going to update that cache. And then we're just going to grab the transparent panel. I'll show you what I want. Then I'm going to go to manage. Then I'm, I'm getting a bit better at cinnamon. Then I'm going to go to this button. No, I need to click plus. So I say, and then we're going to go to that button, and then we're going to go to semi-transparent. There we go. That's the sort of look I like to have. Okay, I'm just going to change the wallpaper to see what ones it comes with, and then we will do a disk speed test, and then we'll end the video up about there. I just need to set up my touchpad as well. It's not going quite the way I like it to. Okay, that's looking very nice. I like it. So now let's go into our touchpad settings and just make sure that it's got the way we like to scroll. So, reverse scrolling action, new. No. It's weird, isn't it? So I use inverted 
sort of when I'm playing first person shooters but then if I want to go down on my touchpad I have to have it sort of as the motion I don't know why okay let's open up gnome discs to do a quick read speed test so we'll do the main partition here and then we're just going to go to do, 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 do benchmark partition I know there's better ways to do it but we're just going to work with what we've got so we're going to go start benchmark average read 3.1 gig Ha! That took no time at all, actually, did it? Let me do that again. Let's make it a bit bigger. So let's make the sample size 100. Let's start that benchmark. Cool, 3.3 gig. That's not too bad, you know. And we've done that in... So the uh, average access time is 0.0, .0 m milliseconds, basically. Nice. Okay, I'm going to have a bit of fun with this uh, new disc that I've got. Anyway, that's my little run-through of sort of how I'd set up my Manjaro Cinnamon desktop um, and that's just sort of a quick look at the new 19.0 release. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe. I will also be looking at the i3 Community Edition as well. Um, yeah, see you on the next one. Bye bye.